The MiG 29A Fulcrum just released in DCS along with a big Caucasus map update featuring high resolution textures. Updates like these are exciting, but they also take up a lot of space on your hard drive. In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to move both your save games folder and your main DCS installation to another drive. This works not just today, but anytime you need to free up space and shift DCS to a different location. Let's start with the save games folder. This is where all your mods, your liveries, kneeboards, missions, and replay files are stored. By default, you'll find it in your, your C drive under users and then under your username. If you can't see your username here, it's probably because it's a hidden file. Go to view, then click on show. Make sure hidden items is uh, checked. Then you'll be able to see it. And then here it's going to be uh, saved games. And then inside that saved games folder is DCS. Now here's how to move it. Right click on the save games folder where, wherever you have it. Then click on properties. And then you're going to click on the location tab. And here is where you can change the path that you want it to go to. If you want it to, to be easier, you can actually click on move and then choose your destination from here. Once you have your new destination, you're going to click on apply. Then you're going to click on OK. And then the data transfer is going to happen from one drive to the other. Next, let's move to the main DCS installation. By default, that's usually located in the C drive under program files, Eagle Dynamics. So let's go. We're in the C drive, program files, Eagle Dynamics. And then here I have DCS World and DCS World Open Beta which everything is now onto one thing. But what we're going to do is we're going to go back up just to Eagle Dynamics and we're going to copy it. If you want to be a little risky, you can also just click on cut. And then we're going to go over to the flight drive and then we're going to paste it. Now, if you just did a copy and paste, you can then go back to the C drive, the original drive, and then press on delete once the uh, transfer is over. A transfer can take some time. It all depends on how many maps and modules you have in your DCS installation. And that's all it takes. No complicated commands required. Now we can go back to the C drive and we can delete that folder completely. We're going to go back to uh, program files, Eagle dynamics, and, uh, this has all been moved over, so delete. The last thing we need to do is to update our shortcut to the DCS EXE file. So I've deleted my old one. Now I'm gonna right click on my desktop, gonna click on new, then click uh, shortcut, browse. So it's gonna be in the new drive, the F drive. So this PC, F drive, Eagle Dynamics, DCS World, bin mt and then dcs exe what do we want to name this shortcut dcs exe and there we have it now you can launch dcs from the updated shortcut everything should load normally updates will still apply correctly and your mods liveries and other custom files will continue to work from the new saved games folder in my case i freed up uh, almost a terabyte on my C drive just by moving these two folders over to my F drive. So whether it's a big update like the MiG 29A Fulcrum and a new Caucasus map textures, or you just want more breathing room on your system drive, this method will help you keep DCS running smoothly. If this tutorial saved you some space, give it a like and let me know in the comments how much room you cleared up. And don't forget to subscribe for more DCS tutorials and updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in this next video.